Hey guys, welcome back to the Critterverse. Today we have a special request project uh, made by our very own Captain Critter. I wear a necklace uh, that I made of uh, resin that is green, kind of looks like jade, and he has requested one um, that is blue and silver because he was in the Air Force. So, sorry, there's this piece of errant resin stuck to my mold. All right, so this is just a little disc mold that I got from Timu. Uh, if I can find the link, I will put it in the description box. I have maybe an ounce, if I'm lucky, of uh, my J-Diction Fast Cure. And I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit, try to debubble itself and that way we can go ahead and get pouring um meanwhile i have my insert i can't remember mica company uh sky blue mica powder which he chose the color and we have silver um flake so that's what we're going to be using now i told him i was like i can't just make one it's like you realize i have to make nine and he's like, okay, if I have to wear nine, I'll wear nine. Uh, <laughs> but I'll find something to do with them I normally do. Um, all right, I just saw some lint in here, so I'm trying to get that out of there. Um, so what I'm going to do is just add our sky blue, which is oddly appropriate, Air Force sky, to the resin. Just going to use my little scoop. use one little scoop and see how that looks and if we need more we'll add more so let's see here because I want it pretty solid in color I don't really want it translucent and it really is still too translucent Let's add moss. Moss powder. Stir, stir, stir. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh, that's better. All right. So now, got our little silver flakies. Flaky, flaky. Oh, it is so full. All right, so let's, I'm gonna move that. Because we all know foil flakes go everywhere. I'm just gonna try to tear these into little tinier, smaller pieces. See how that looks. So if I want to add more, which you probably will, because you know it's me. But he's not a real sparkly, shiny kind of guy, so I shall try to restrain myself since it's for him. <laughs> but I do want enough that you'll be able to see it. I think that should be good. All right. Now, this mold is, is little. These are maybe an inch in diameter each. So... be careful that I don't over pour them but if I do I can just adjust
looks like that one ounce was pretty stinking perfect. Look at that. All of them are up to the rim, but not domed, which is fine because the other side is round. Um, so it kind of gives you a front and back, you know? Um, I'm not going to torch because the mold is so tiny, uh, but I am going to give them a spray of isopropyl just to encourage any bubbles that happen to want to be there to alert me of their presence. So I'm going to go ahead and let these cure and I will be back to show you the results. See you soon. So your girl totally forgot that she was filming these and... <laughs> I demolded them. So at any rate, these are what they came out like. It's just very cute. Uh, blue with silver. There's a whole bunch of different ones. So I'm going to let him pick the one that he likes the most for him to wear. So that's them. Quick, fast, easy project. I hope you guys like them. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.